everybody, Laura Daniels here. Thank you for taking time once again out of your day to sit with me for about 10 minutes. This is the Happy Planner Classic Size, and if you're interested in seeing a walkthrough of how I set up a month after it's all complete, stick around. I look forward to giving you a walkthrough. Alrighty, so here we go. This is the, as I said, the Happy Planner Classic Size. I'm going to move us all the way up through to May. And I'm just going to give you a walk through and tell you what I do each month. This is a diary for me. It's a memory keeper. So when I fill out my currently page, I always list the main birthdays, top events that are coming up, uh, my one, two, three goals in home, social media, and health. And then I will um, focus on what I'm reading, planning, watching, and eating each month. You'll notice that I vary from print to cursive in here to kind of add a little bit. And I do YouTube videos on setting these up once a month, so you'll see how I put those together. And the colors in this are just beautiful. So here's the month. I always like to have three blocks over here, and I use them for different things each month. It may be a holiday. It may be something specific that I need to take care of that month. I use a block for the birthdays to highlight them. I try to keep it neat and clean, and a lot of times I'll add to this as the month goes on. I don't write and then scratch out. It's kind of like a log the day after. That's how that works. Now these are the week views. I always use a highlighter that kind of complements the stickers that I use. And alongside here, I will highlight the three top things that happened that week. Along the top, I'll do the weather, and I always decorate the center. So here you go. This is an insert I make each week. It complements the decorations that have been on here, and I will focus on one fun day or one fun memory of the week and on the back I'll put photographs. Along the bottom is where I will write the highlight of each day and I'll choose one word to focus on, to highlight, and to script print. Again you can see here how the middle is decorated. Here I took one of the long tabs stickers and filled it up so that it fills that area. So don't be afraid to do that. And then I usually put a sticker along the bottom where I've highlighted the days of the week up top. I also highlight the week with the same color. And notice the stickers complement what's right here. I love to have the weather up here. I don't know about you, but you can get all the way into November and someone says, what's the weather usually like there in May? And you go, hmm, I don't know, but my planner does. So you go back to your planner. Uh, I love the squad girls. They're just so pretty. So here again, I've written a script. Little, you know, two or three sentences about the day. Sometimes it's just one sentence about the day. Mother's Day, my mom. I hope when I grow up, I can be just like her. And then here we have the third week. Actually, the fourth, if you take... Yeah, it's about a five weeks in May, isn't it? Uh, I, oh, gosh, I just love these vans with the flowers. And this was a wonderful week because my granddaughter was born, little Diana Rose. And so, you know, with these photos, let me tell you, friends, I, I would love to say that I'm a person that will take time each month and put together this wonderful memory album. But at 57, I've recognized the fact that that is so not going to happen. So instead of having boxes and boxes of photos that sit there, get me stressed, I'm not doing anything with them, I print up the top three photos of the week. I cut them up and slap them down with some tape. But look at this as I go through this whole month, this year. Look at this. I mean, it's still wonderful to look at. In the back of every one are some pages. So isn't that just, it's an easy way to memory keep and not make it real stressful, okay? And look what I did here is I did some, just take my ink pen and outline the side and then you put a little sewing mark right there. Okay. All right, so let me get us back up to where we were. 
Now, again, this is something else I want to point out to you. Don't feel as if you always have to use Happy Planner stickers in your Happy Planner. Girlfriend, it's your planner. If you have a bunch of stickers in your stash and ephemera and you get you subscribe to a kit from another company, use it in the Happy Planner. Look how pretty this looks. And that's my son with my granddaughter, Diana Rose. Mm. So since she's the little princess of the house, I had to do the whole thing. Uh, that focused on her and every one of these stickers is simple stories which is their little princess kit it's just beautiful and then here we are moving into June I have a currently plan with me YouTube up on that and then next the end of this month I'll be going through this with you so I hope you enjoyed this I hope that you are having an awesome day I hope that June is living up to what you wanted it to be and you've set some awesome goals. I'd love to hear how you memory keep. So if you have a minute, share with me in the comments what inspired you in this and share with me how you memory keep, how you keep a diary. I hope that you're blessed by this. I hope you have an incredible day. Hit the like button to tell me that you appreciated the video. Leave a comment if you want to give me a cyber hug. God bless. Have a great day. And until we meet again, take care. Bye-bye.